Okay, guys. Well, well, well. To, this is my review of UFC 119. Uh, let's first start off saying that this UFC was really stale. Um, it was quite a, a, a little, a little boring to me. Um, I'm not one. I love MMA for one. I'm a hardcore MMA fan. I do training myself uh, also for MMA and multiple disciplines. So I love the te technique aspect, and I know that you always can go in there and win by um, win by knockout or you know a great great fashion. But this card, man, was it a snore fest? Um, for let's start off with Melvin Gillard versus uh, Jeremy Stevens. This one ended in a decision with uh, Gillard beating Stevens. Um, me personally, when I watched the fight, I thought Stevens won, but they gave it to Gillard, so that's how that went. We have a light a light bout match between um, Sean Shirk versus Evan Dunham. Um, this one again went to a de went to a decision, a split decision, and Sean Shirk en ends up winning. When I saw the fight, I once again thought Evan Dunham won. Um, to me, it was quite evident that he won. Sean Shirk won the first, the first round. The second round, Evan Dun Dunham won with his striking. And then the third round, he definitely won with his striking and stunned Sean Shirk a couple of times. So I don't see how he didn't win that fight. Um, but, you know, you can let, lay it in the hands of the judges, as everyone says, and Evan Dunham loses. But I'm pretty sure that um, White agrees, uh, Dana White agrees from his Twitter and everything else. He says that Evan Dunham was robbed. So I'm pretty sure they're going to just keep pushing him. They're not going to set him back. They're just going to keep pushing him uh, in the right direction for, for lightweight. Um, then we have uh, Matt Serra versus Chris Lytle. Um, this one, once again, went to a decision. Uh, these guys sat up there and banged with each other and and whatnot, and just a boxing match, pretty much. I mean, it, it, don't get me wrong, it was somewhat interesting, but once again, it was no, no sense of, of urgency between these guys to, a, to an extent. Um, Lytle landed a, a couple of big hits, but I would say Sarah probably has a really good chin. That's the reason why he didn't go down. But Lytle end up, uh, ends up winning uh, by unanimous, de unanimous decision. Then we have um, Little Nog versus Ryan Bader. Um, this one, you know, um, Bader ends up beating by another decision. Um, uh, what what I can say about this one is is that Little Nog went in there and tried to box with him, box with Ryan Bader all day, but Ryan Bader just used he didn't box with him. He used more power shots and more power striking, and he used his wrestling to an extent. Um, he used his wrestling to get him down and do a takedown, but he wouldn't go too far into the wrestling. Like he wouldn't transition into a into a point to where uh, Little Nog would use his jujitsu to, um, to it, to, you know, to to win the fight or dominate the fight or hold him on the ground. So it was more of a styles match and technical fight between these two. It was probably one of the better fights that I enjoyed. Um, so let let's move on to the main event, which is Frank Mir versus um, Crow Cop. I, to be honest with you. This fight was so boring to me. It was, I, I, I was going to sleep on the fight. I was already kind of bored. I was bored with the whole event, but I was really bored with this fight because I thought they were going to come out and bang. Like I thought Crow Cop was going to come out there, throw kicks and, you know, do all types of, because, you know, he doesn't want to go onto the ground. And Frank Mayer gave him his wish, you know, not to go to the ground. And... You know, I'm just like dozing off pretty much, and then um, at the in the third round, 
you know, I didn't even see the the actual when it happened, him throw the knee because I had stopped watching it. I had like turned around and was talking to my friends or something like that. And um, he turned around and gave him a knee and he ended it with um, with the KO with the knee. But I still thought it was a boring fight. You know, I still thought it was a boring fight. And, and it's just, it, the, the, you know, every UFC is not going to be a knockout of the park, you know, type of UFC. And this definitely wasn't. But, you know, a lot of these fights were were fights that other that, that these fighters need to get over to get to the next step to make greater fights. So that's what we'll see. So that was my review of UFC 119. Let me know what you guys think. And um, if you have any comments, um, please, you know, comment. So please rate, subscribe, and comment. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.